Welcome back, vapers. Vaping with the Royals here. Mad scientist Cyrus here. All right, today I got something special for you. Today we're going to be rebuilding the rebuildable atomizer, RDA, RBA, whatever you want to call it. Uh, the IGO L, and we're going to be vaping on the brass nemesis. Uh, got this in 18650 mode, so we should see a hell of a lot of vapor. Also, going to have a small ju short juice review for you guys at the end. Uh, Got a couple juices from local shops here. We're gonna talk about that. I'm gonna show you how to do a quick view, a 28 gauge Canthal twisted, <laughs> twisted wire uh, single coil. Um, we're shooting for about 1.2 to 0.8 ohms, and we're gonna be using cotton wick. All mm -hmm. right, got everything set up here. We're also gonna give you a little upy closey time with the Igo L. And even a little bit in the Nemesis, but just real quick on the Nemi, because this is about the atomizers. Let's go. All right, Vapors, here we go. Uh, as you can see, the Igo L, I've got it uh, screwed into the top cap, top cap, top cap, <laughs> top cap of my Nemesis here, as you, you know, with the air hold. So what we're going to do here is I'm going to take this apart, give you a good view of it. I'm getting juice everywhere, but that's okay, because we're going to take it apart and put a new coil in there anyway. And also we have a towel. And then we've got this nice microfiber towel, which I hate the feel of, by the way. I don't know why. Um, but anyway, uh, back on subject. All right, so we're going to take this apart and give you a little inside view. Sorry, camera's shake. Uh, all right, as you can see here, we've got Jesus. the three parts, and this is just sitting on the Nemesis cap. So we'll just take that off of there. Getting juice everywhere. Okay, so <laughs> welcome back, Vapors. All right, we're here in the up and close time. With the Igo L. Now, as you can see, the Igo L is a fairly simple device. Um, you got your cap here. Not a whole lot going on in there. It's pretty clear. Single hole airflow. Uh, nice drip tip with the. Got your sucky bit. Yeah, a little sucky bit there. And your deck, which is just a simple two post. No uh, actual holes in it. You screw them down on the post directly when you build your coil. So it's a little simpler, but it's not really designed for dual coil builds. So I don't know if you can see that, but there you go. Yeah, see, simple wick. Generous juice well, though. And these O-rings, I really want to point out these O-rings. These are really sturdy O-rings. I uh, had a lot of people talk to me about them, and apparently they used to come, come with the red O-rings, and uh, they, they were just loose, and the cap wouldn't stay on. You could turn it upside down, and the top would fall off. So I'm really glad, you know, I, I don't know about my, those, but I got these nice black ones with it. And they came in, they, they held together really well. It's a good firm fit, almost too firm. Uh, but we'll get on to that a little later. Take one. All right, all right guys, um, welcome back. We're gonna, as you can see, we're all nice and clean here. See, got that coil, old coil out of there. It was getting kind of grungy anyway. Uh, got everything nice and shiny, dry and cleaned out. We're gonna go ahead and start our rebuild. Um, and this is what you're gonna need for to start this. All right, now that we've got our 25 feet of Canthal wire, 28 gauge. We've got our 1 16th drill bit. You can get this at any hardware store, anything like that. Screwdriver and your clips to cut the wire when you're done. All right, let's go ahead and get started. We'll get this off of here. First thing you need to do is you need to cut yourself uh, about a three, four inch segment of canthal wire. Sorry, I heard cut yourself. Right. Easiest way to do this, just get yourself a pair of tono fingernail clippers, whatever you have laying about. These work really well and they're cheap, so you don't have to worry about this at all. Um, clip yourself a section, you know, not very long, about four to six inches wide. Um, and next thing you're going to need is to treat your canthal wire with sorry got our box of stuff over here with nothing more than a simple bic or a torch uh, what we're going to do is we're going to heat the canthal and what this will do is it will take I don't know if you can see that very well um, it will take some of the springiness out of it so your coils will be nice and tight really conductive and all you're going to do is you're going to take this until it turns red and just take it down the end of it 
And as you can see, it starts to straighten out a bit, softens up for a minute, and then it'll heat up. You know, just going to do this. And uh, for the sake of you who don't have the patience to watch this on our video, we're going to speed this up. All right, now we've got our our canthal wire treated and ready to go. And we've got, we're going to take our 1 16th drill bit, and what we're going to do is we're going to take one in, give yourself a good section like this, you know, so you can grip it really well. All right, go ahead and do it like this. And uh, the first wrap, we're going to do uh, five wraps. The first wrap will not count, so we're going to take it and go one, and that will not count because we're going to unravel that one at the end. And then we're going to go one, two, three, and four. Now we're going to give one more good wrap. You know what? Let's just forget it. Let's go ahead and do eight wraps today because I'm feeling adventurous. Five, six, seven, and eight. We're going to go with a micro coil. There. And then you're just going to take it, you know, press it down a little bit. Yeah, look at that. That's a nice coil. All right. Now we're going to unwrap that first one. See? We're going to get down here and we're going to pull those nice and tight. want to make sure they're nice and tight. See? And we can adjust this later once it's on the deck, you know, make it nice and nice and pretty. But there you have it. You know, there is your macro coil right there. See, and what we'll do is we'll compress this down. It'll be nice and small here in just a minute. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and take this. We're going to get the deck ready, and we're going to go ahead and get it on there. All right. So here we go. Let me dig out my pliers from the magic red box here. All right, now what you're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna take the uh, the lighter and everything, and we're gonna take these. You just need a simple pair of pliers. I just got one of these cheap sets you can get from Walmart for like $2 as a gift set. Don't work really well for anything else except the pliers, so it's not really a big investment, but they work out pretty well. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, we're gonna set the right inside, keeping your coil on your drill bit helps set it on there. See? Now we're going to take and twist this way and twist this one this way. Now, get you want to get your coil as close to your posts as you can without letting it touch them. All right? And don't let your coil be touching the very bottom of your well, because otherwise you're going to make a contact and it's going to short out and you're just going to have a nasty flavor all around. All right. So next, we're going to take this end. We're going to wrap it once. One good wrap around the top post there so it's nice and tight. We're going to take our mini screwdriver there and go ahead and secure that negative post like so. Good and tight, not coming off of there, All right? And that helps us also keep this nice and sturdy. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go around like so. We're going to wrap once and twice. Make sure that positive end's got a nice solid contact on there, all right? Now that's wrapped on there real good. We're going to go ahead and secure that down too. Give it a nice torque there. All right. And now what you can do is we're going to take that out of there see we are going to take these pliers and we're going to compress that coil a little bit down to where we want it make sure you don't have any overlapping wraps make sure it's not touching see there we go see how much smaller that coil is now it's nice nice and smooth and what we're going to do is we're going to reinsert our drill bit just a minute while we take and attach this back to our top cap. Makes for an easier grip because it's not a great grippy eye. We're going to using the Nemesis today. Don't know if you can see this. It's patinaed quite nicely. Uh, I've got it set in 18650 mode. And what we're going to do is we're, what's called a dry fire. We're gonna take that out now that's for just a second. We're going to unlock. Unlock the, not prepared for this. Uh, we're gonna give it a run till it turns nice and 
Red, see that's what you want to see. See that nice coil heat up from the middle outwards. No hot spots or single area getting real hot. You want that to look nice and glow like that there. Now what we're going to do is while it's still orange, we're going to compress that a bit. Press it down. Press it down. Do it again. See how it's nice and coming from the center? That's what we want. There we go. Now see, now that, look at that. Beautiful macro core. Beautiful. All right. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take that one more time. Put that back in there just to make sure it's all nice and straight for when we put that wick in there. We're going to take our clippers. You can, you can also bend this back and forth and uh, get that off of there. It's, it's pretty sturdy. It's not going not gonna to spring off on you. All right, see? There we go. And then now we've got a nice, nice, nice coil sitting there. All right, we're going to lock this. And then we're going to bring in the cotton wick. Now that we've got this, what we're going to do is we're going to take a short. This is nothing more than organic cotton balls that I've unraveled. You can get these at your local Walmart, Walgreens, anywhere. You know, just you want to make sure it's 100% organic because some companies... That should be plenty. In fact, that might be too much. We'll just set that aside. Um, a lot of companies uh, bleach their cotton balls so that they stay nice and white. But uh, it, most places will also carry uh, organic cotton balls because a lot of people are allergic to bleach and ammonia and such like that, whitening products. All right, you want a piece about like this. All right, now what we're going to do, nothing more than a little sweat, saliva, water, whatever. We're going to take, and you, can use, you don't have to use cotton. You can use silica wick or organic silica stainless steel mesh uh, but I find that this wicks up the juice very well wicks up a lot of juice and, and it doesn't cost me anything I get a huge bag of wick and one cotton ball will give me about 20 wicks uh, I've been using the same for about a week so I'm happy all right now we're gonna take out your your drill bit all right and you want to make this nice and tiny see like that there you go. All we're gonna do is gonna feed that through like that. Right, grip it gently, and you're, you're gonna want it to be nice and firm, but not so tight that you're moving the coil. All right. So when you get about to a point where it feels like, it, yeah, like it does that, stop. Go ahead and frill that out a bit, like so. Frill that out a bit, like so. Get yourself good length. You want about quarter inch to a half inch on either side. Uh, unless you're using a dual coil or more and what we'll do is we'll just take our clippers here and we'll clip this off like so all right we're going to clip this bit pointy bit here and there we go now i found that the drill bit that you just used to make your coil is the best way because now that you've got it you know it's a certain space a certain side to just go ahead and tuck don't cover your coil though. You don't want to suffocate it. You need plenty of airflow. And we're just going to tuck that wick right in there. Like so. Make sure it's all on the deck. Do not dry fire this, mind you. Please. Uh, you will start a fire. You'll ruin your wick. You'll have to wick it all over again. You, you can't get rid of, the, rid, rid of that burnt cotton taste if you dry fire this without priming it first. And, and there we have it, folks. Uh, you've got a nice new coil on your iGo L with a wick. Uh, let's get some juice on here and find out how it vapes. All right, let's go. It's a bit of liquid in there. Uh, we're, today we're using an 18 milligram Mountain Dew flavor from our local fl uh, shop called the Tobacco Shop A. Uh, stuff's pretty sweet. Tastes just like Mountain Dew. Uh, pretty nice. If you're into the lemon lime flavors, which currently we are loving the he uh, shit out of. It's not me. called Mountain Dew. But uh, I think this brand, forgive me, is called, it's Mountain Dew flavored, but due to copyright and such, it's called Mountain Dew Me. I don't know if you can see that very clearly. It's got a couple doing the nasty right there. Vertical Mambo. Uh, Horizontal well, Mambo. Whatever. Uh, they're definitely vertical. But anyway, all right, so we've got this nice, and we've wicked it, and we've got it primed. And what we're going to do is we're going to fire this. I'm going to show you how, how much vapor production we get out of this thing. Look at that. Look at that. That's beautiful. Vapes beautifully. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go outside of Uppy Closey, that stand of Uppy Closey today, and we're going to show you how it vapes. Guys, uh, I'm going to add a couple more drops 
of the Mountain Dew me, just to make sure it's nice. Uh, forgive me, that's actually our Skittles blend from our local tobacco shop, with, spelt with an E. Uh, we'll do a juice review here in a little bit, and we'll talk about that. Uh, it's delicious. I'm going to give a shout out to our friends down there, and uh, I'm going to do a better review, actual juice review on that later. But here we go with our new mod. We've got our, uh, we've got our holes. Make sure when you use these that you line up your air hole. Uh, on to where your coil is set in the base because otherwise you're not going to get a decent airflow it's going to get really hot you're going to get some nasty taste in there um the igo l as you can see got some great big i don't know if you see that very well got a great big hole in there i've got that set at uh 5 30 second um it comes with a tiny tiny maybe 1 16th half that um size uh, hole in there and it, it's just not adequate uh, I don't know if you can see it, the Nemi actually comes with double, there you go, double the size air hole on the bottom. And uh, I like an airier, lighter draw so I can get more flavor, more vapor. Uh, definitely into the cloud chasing, so without further ado and ranting on, let's see how what we've built together vapes. Beautiful, beautiful, big, flavorful clouds, you know, it just plumes. It's a great thing. I mean, it's not the biggest clouds in the world, you know, it's only a single coil, micro coil. Forgive me, throughout this video, I have called it a macro coil, and I am going to go ahead and correct my statement there. This is a micro coil build. Uh, we tested it out, and it tests out at 0.9 ohms. Not bad, not bad. Uh, I usually like point four to 0.8 ohms for my builds for a single coil because it provides a nice even level there but overall not a bad build not bad at all let's have another go ahead and have another two we'll see if we can't get some uh, crazy vapor out of it party on Wayne as you can see it vapes great Great stuff. All right. Um, now we're going to talk a little bit more. That'll be all for that. Appreciate you guys coming out. Um, we're going to talk a little bit of juice review today. Um, seeing me use this bottle and this bottle here. This is from our local, local vapor shop. Uh, handmade in the USA. Uh, distributed by Smoke Tokes. Uh, the Lush Vapor brand. Mountain Dew Me. Mountain Dew flavors. Uh, it's quite nice. Quite nice. Um, Feels and tastes a lot like Mountain Dew. Uh, it's the closest to Mountain Dew that I've seen out there so far. Uh, 18 milligrams is a little high for me. Uh, I'm down to uh, 12 to 6, 8 milligrams maybe. Uh, but overall, even with the overwhelming flavor, it, it's still it's wonderful. I, uh, I highly recommend it. Pick this up at your local vape shop. If not, go to Smoke Tokes. That's Smoke T O K E S dot com or Google them online. Uh, they're made here in the USA and they're it's good stuff good stuff now secondly this is our Skittles no label made locally here at the heard me drop the name tobacco shop a lot uh, this is not a moniker for a generic vape shop this is actually a vape shop distributes hookahs and pipe tobacco and vapor stuff all over the place uh, but they're actually called the tobacco shop and I will put a link right here on the bottom of the screen. Now, uh, gonna give a shout out. They hand mix these in store for you, right there in front of you. And I gotta say, uh, I mix a lot of, of our liquids here in the shop. We we've got our own line going on. And I gotta say, this this is worth replicating. It's called Skittles. Uh, it's a mixture of very grapey and apple and just a little bit of peach, maybe some cherry in there. Can't quite tell. Can't quite tell. Good stuff though. Let me have another two real quick. Ta-da! It's great stuff. Great stuff. Vape's great. It's made from 100% VG, so I'm surprised. Uh, VG does not uh, carry flavor very well usually, uh, but the mixtures that they're using are PG blends. So the mix, of the VG blend that they put in here is 100% VG, but it's got enough PG in the flavor additive itself 
uh, to give that nice kick of the flavors. And I just want to give a shout out to our wonderful mixer down at the tobacco shop, Trissa. She has been wonderful to us. She's helped us get along on our vapor journey, as you want to call it. Uh, and we have we owe her a lot. She's been super great to us when we have questions, problems, anything that breaks or anything. She'll fix it. She'll pace it. Whatever. Let's go ahead and give a, a, a nice applause for her. Golf claps. There we go. All right. And on to it. Now, um, these things, if you want to pick up one of these Igo Ls, I highly recommend it. It's a great starter RDA. Uh, you pick it up on eBay, five, ten bucks. Uh, ten bucks would be a bit high. I wouldn't want to pay that much for one of these. I think I got mine from uh, fasttech.com, uh, and it took forever to get here. But uh, you can get them on eBay, about five bucks. Uh, you can even get them pre-built with coils uh, if you'd like. If you don't want to build it yourself, it's a more expensive way to go about it. It's much cheaper to get into this. Uh, the Canthal wire we used in our today's video is also off of eBay. It cost me about two dollars for 25 feet. Use a couple inches of for a coil. Not a bad deal, you know. It's gonna cost you to buy these coils anywhere from four to seven dollars a coil. People, just not worth the money. Just not worth the money. All right. But anyway, that's what we're gonna do for today. We're wrapping up this, and uh, want to say thank you to all our subscribers, our viewers. Keep ha uh, just want to say keep going. Enjoy it. Congratulations on quitting smoking. If you haven't yet, uh, keep in there. It's worth it. Couple days you'll feel better. Within a couple weeks, you'll feel an amazing difference. And just want to say thank you to CASA for their support and their help with us. And uh, yeah, that'll be all for today, guys. Enjoy, keep calm, vape on. No, that's just weird. Alright, we'll hear one.